How is an 81-year-old faring while living in coronavirus isolation? Maria Albel, a Swede living in Berlin, reports about the importance of crosswords, crisis cuisine, and the kindness of name. With me meeting new people, enjoying cappuccinos in cafes, attending courses and going on excursions, my stock of art supplies ended up giving me a guilty conscience. That is, until now. Read more, Coronavirus Hero German Man 3D Prints Face Shields for Senior Homes Now I simply paint away in my isolation, playing with colors and shapes and imagining to hat this is art. I no longer have time or energy to look critically at the old woman in the mirror. Crossword puzzle send sardines in the morning, I put on a little commune evidence. A friend of mine gave me this perfume for Christmas. Before the crisis, I always put some on before I left the house. You never know who you'll meet in the cafe or the supermarket. Now its fragrance is for me only. A crossword puzzle before bedtime is a must. Unfortunately, there's only one booklet left. And I'm considering whether I should fill it out with a pencil first, then erase it and solve it again with a pen. I could also make my own puzzle, but that would be quite frustrating. Albel's evening crossword puzzle has become essential, but now she's running out what does a high-risk lady like me really need while in isolation? The first thing that popped into my head was toilet paper. My supplies of flour, milk, bread and other groceries will last for a while. How clueless I was! At the beginning, I thought me coronavirus house arrest would last for maybe three or four weeks at the most. I've organized everything neatly in a list with their expiration dates to make sure that nothing gets to waste in the end. The thick sardines and rapeseed oil are mild in taste. I'd like more of them. Of course, I would also like you to bake bread, the very smell of baking. But when I asked a neighbor on the fourth floor to help me get some yeast, she told me that I could forget about yeast is even harder to come by than toilet paper. The neighbor gave me flowers and told me to call if he need anything or if I get bored. The phone call softened with a laugh. Lending a neighborly hand before I moved from Rostock to this newly constructed building in Berlin almost three years ago. My friends and neighbors warned me about the hectic pace the elbow mentality and the loneliness and such but when the coronavirus began to spread several of my new neighbors immediately offered to help out dot they not only said it they meant it sometimes i can't believe how lucky i am in this time of crisis read more coronavirus here coping with covid 19 threat in a berlin refugee home i'm so happy when the nice family across the hall rings my doorbell on saturdays to ask if they can go shopping for me but i realized after a few days that that was a fallacy os on 81 year old i am in one of the high risk groups and i have to be extra but with two little girls who aren't able to go to school right now i'm sure they have enough going on dot anna a young designer who lives next door also goes shopping for sometimes she calls while she's in the shop to make sure that she has chosen the right bread or cheese dot for Easter. She gave me one of the chocolate eggs that her mother sent her. Dear older neighbors, signs like these have been popping up in apartment buildings across Germany as neighbors reach out. My former neighbors in Rostock can only dream of such caring assistance. Karen and Petra aged 82 and 87, are the same age as most of the other residents of the high-rise building they Karen and Petra defy the coronavirus and go shopping be themselves. They live in Rostock, not in dangerous Berlin, they assure me, as if this made any difference at the coronavirus. Perhaps by saying this, it helps them comfort themselves a bit. Fresh air with a face mask spring is here. I can't wait to finally enjoy some sunshine and block for the first time in four weeks. I dare to leave my apartment for a short walk. The streets in my Berlin neighborhood are almost deserted so early. Nevertheless, I wear a face mask. I have two of them now, besides my two homemade attempts. My friend Sabine sewed the first mask, while mask number two was given to me by Anna from next door, handed over from balcony to balcony. Her designer mask is not only beautiful, it also fits perfectly. The insight came to me as I stood in front of the bathroom mirror, suddenly the problem was not my wrinkles, but the isolation due to a potential I dead leave. Maria Albel has started going for short walks, beautifully with her face mask. Do you really wear a face mask when you leave the house? My friend Fridain Stockholm can't be in Sweden, where I lived and worked for nearly 50 years, people are more relaxed about the virus. When he called Frida for Easter, gatherings with up to 50 people were still allowed. 
Television reports showed people enjoying the sun together in cafes and parks. Are they not worried about statistics that showed how there are proportionally more coronavirus deaths in Sweden? With its population of 10 million, than in Germany which is eight times larger? Concerns for family members much more concerning for me is the situation in Spain, where my youngest sister Claire lives with her husband Paolo. Perhaps so many Spaniards and Italians were reinfected because they have more physical contact with their families. Friends and acquaintances than people in Northern European countries, Paolo asks. Yes, that could be the case, I answer. But think about the high death rate in London, Paolo. Read more. Gourmet chef cooks for heroes in the corona crisis for Suzanne, my younger sister Wo lives in Vienna, life is slowly becoming more enormous. Some shops in Austria have been given permission to reopen, as is now the case in Germany. People with masks wait in lines to be allowed in, stand in. I examine the old woman in the mirror. Do I really have to put up with being alone with myself for weeks or even? But Suzanne isn't in a hurry to spend her money. Over the past few weeks, she has discovered how relaxing it is to spend hours digging and weeding in the garden. Sometimes I fantasize about visiting the delicatessen department in Berlin's upscale department store Kadawi, choosing from an abundance of food from around sprats in vodka or caviar, just as a change from the current crisis cuisine. But I'm actually doing incredible. Maria Albel was born in Austria and grew up in the region in western Germany. She worked as a local newspaper reporter for most of her life in Sweden. In 2011, she moved back to Germany and has been living in Berlin since 2017. Albel is a Swedish citizen. With events spanned at least until the end of August, the Oktoberfest has become the latest victim of lockdown. Although slated to start September 19, the world's biggest beer festival will not happen this year. 21.2020, Bavaria has become the third German state to introduce a face mask requirement in public. The state hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic will now oblige people to cover their mouth and nose in most public spaces. 20.04 2020, in a time of crisis, many people are looking for ways to step up and in just a 47 square meter, 505 square foot apartment? I can barely get out of my own way, so what can I do to keep from getting on my own nerves? Maria Albel has been living in isolation for weeks in her 47 square meter apartment in Berlin a little self-deception might help. One man has turned an unusual hobby into much needed protective gear to help some of the people most vulnerable to COVID-19. 18.0 2020, Novak Djokovic has stated his opposition to vaccination, casting doubt over whether he will be able to return to the meanwhile. Two of Germany's top footballers have teamed up to support local businesses. Bavaria has become the third German state to introduce a face mask requirement. The state hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic will now oblige people to cover their mouth and nose in most public spaces. Coronavirus restrictions are raising fears among people in German refugee shelters. In Berlin, some residents have told DW they are no getting enough information and there have been scuffles over fears that new arrivals could spread the coronavirus. Ever since I was a child, I dreamed of being an artist. I made fantasy worlds out of cardboard, tissue paper and buttons. It wasn't until I retired that my artistic aspirations came back to me. I bought paints, brushes, it ended up being far too much, because when you moved from Rostock to Berlin three years ago, life 